Uh, Greg, 2-1 defeat for Leeds today. What do you make of that one? Uh, disappointing that they've, they've lost a game uh, that really that they're more than capable of, of winning. Let's be fair, they're more than capable of beating Rotherham. Um, you look at the two team sheets, Leeds is packed with far better players than Rotherham's, but the edge today, I'm afraid, was, was on Rotherham's uh, team. They wanted to win the game badly, a little bit more badly than what Leeds United did. And they, they eventually they got the break, a lucky break or a fortunate break in terms of the, 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 the Belushi mistake that led to the penalty and the sending off. And Leeds will probably go away thinking we should have won a game that, you know, lost a game, sorry, that we really should have had something out of. But that's twice now in the last two games. We'll just feel wanted it more than Leeds, rather than wanted it more than Leeds. Is the end of the season already here for Leeds? It sort of is. Uh, but, I mean, listen, the majority of Leeds fans will be disappointed tonight that the result has gone against them. I would be more disappointed or more worried about the bigger picture, Mark, which would be what is going on at this football club in terms of getting it ready, preparing itself for next season. Because they've got a sort of, if there's one bonus of have not been involved in the up or the down situation in the league, it gives you a chance to, to, to get your squad prepared and built and, and constructed better than it is this season for an assault on the top six. And it must be an assault on the top six next season. At the minute, the club looks disjointed. It doesn't look like it's doing that. Like I said, the result might be important today, but for me, the bigger picture is what is going on to prepare itself for next season. And I'm not so sure with what we're seeing out there, there's too much going on that, that, that's leading in that line. First things first, people, the fans, the, need to know who the manager's going to be next yeah, year. Yeah, th that's got to come out, you know, and you can't appoint a manager three weeks into the summer and then say, go and construct a team, because the work's... Yeah, I mean... I've been helping people out in League Two and they're doing their work now for next season. So the Championship should be way ahead of them. And I'm not so sure, without a manager, how that work and, and without a recruitment team, how that work can possibly be going on. And that, for me, would be the, the worrying thing going on at Leeds United at the minute, that the fans, beyond the result today, should be looking at thinking, well, where are we going next year? Because there's too many fans turning up here week in, week out, away from home I'm on about, supporting this fantastic football club and getting shortchanged. Not right. Did any of the players come out with any credit today, do you think? Um, it was a lethargic performance, if you're honest. A lethargic performance where they're almost accepting that the, 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 the club is, you know, it's in a little bit of a, a situation where, an, an uncertain situation where nobody knows who's doing what, who's going to be doing what. So they've, I wouldn't say they're going through the motions, but I think they're almost, well, what is happening? We don't know who the manager is going to be. We don't know if we're going to be here or not. And, and, the, and the performance reflected that.